Hi guys, uh, in this uh, case, this is a case of stepped pulley. What is stepped pulley? It is uh, shown in the diagram uh, that it has two different discs of different radii. And if you, if you are watching this diagram from the cross section of the pulley, if you uh, uh, imagine the sideways diagram, you can imagine a, a bigger cylinder of radius 2R and a smaller cylinder of radius R uh, attached with the um, bigger cylinder coaxially. So, so one rope is being attached to that smaller one and the other rope is being attached to that uh, bigger cylinder. So in this case, uh, we have to find out the velocity of this block A. And for that, uh, I have to explain a simple concept to you that if a pulley is rotating with a angular velocity omega. Now angular velocity is the velocity with which it uh, rotates. So omega is the angular velocity. Okay, so uh, the uh, velo uh, velocity, linear velocity of any point on the circumference v will be equal to r omega where r is the radius so this will be the concept which we will use here and uh, therefore <coughs> in this question if we assume uh, that we can see that this block is b this block b is moving upward with a velocity of 10 meters per second and therefore <coughs> this a will move downward with velocity v we have to find out the value of v but uh, we can uh, we have to uh, identify the sense of rotation we can imagine a fact that if this block will go upward then the pulley must be rotating uh, clockwise directions so pulley is rotating clockwise sense let's suppose pulley is rotating with uh, angular velocity omega so the velocity of this point is 10 and we can write that 10 is equal to r omega and radius of this point from the center is 2r and omega this is the first equation now the velocity of this point will be v so we can write that v will be equal to r omega now if we uh, see that 2v is equal to 10 and therefore v is equal to 5 meters per second this is the uh, concept of stepped pulley that you have to identify uh, the angular velocity and the sense of rotation initially and uh, we can write the uh, equation as v is equal to r omega so i'll uh, demonstrate more and more uh, good problems on stepped pulleys in uh, further videos so let's move on the next question now in this uh, question you can see that uh, this point is moving downward with a speed of 10 meters per second and therefore this point will be moving towards right with the speed of 5 meters per second this is uh, due to the fact that if let's suppose this pulley is rotating with omega then the speed uh, of this point 10 would be equal to 4 r omega and a speed of this point will be equal to 2r omega so if 4r omega is equal to 10 then 2r omega will be equal to 5 now now this point will also be moving with 5 meters per second and uh, hence we can say that this point will be moving uh, with v and v will be equal to 3 times of 5 so v will be 15 meters per second so this would be the velocity of this block v now uh, <coughs> i have multiplied this uh, 5 with 3 because the point where this string is attached has a radius r and the point where this string is attached has a radius which is thrice of that of r so its velocity will be thrice of that of 5 so it would be 15 okay now we move on the next question now in this problem we can see that this point is this point is moving downward with a velocity of 10 
and let's suppose this pulley is rotating with omega 1 and this point is moving with v1 so i can write the equation that uh, 3 r omega 1 is equal to 10 and 2 r omega 1 is equal to v now uh, i can uh, see that v will be equal to uh, 20 by 3 v1 now now let's suppose uh, okay now this string is a single string and it has some tension therefore this point will also be moving with velocity v1 and let's suppose this pulley is moving with omega 2 so v1 will be equal to 3 r omega 2 and this point will be moving with v which we have to find out and v will be equal to r omega 2 so v will be equal to v1 by 3 and v1 by 3 will be 20 by 9 so the velocity of this block will be 20 by 9 now we move on the next problem in this question of stepped pulley we can see that this point this one is moving towards left side with velocity 2 and hence uh, due to the pulley rotation this point will moving towards down uh, side with velocity 1 meters per second now uh, we can see that if it is moving with 4 meters per second downwards then it would be moving with 4 meters per second upwards so this is 4 and this is 1 so i can see that v will be equal to 4 minus 1 by 2 so v will be equal to 3 by 2 that is 1.5 okay now we move on <coughs> the next question <coughs> now in this question uh, you can see that uh, this point is moving upward with an velocity v so this point will move uh, towards right towards left in fact with velocity v by 2 okay now uh, this point will also move with velocity v by 2 and this point will also move with velocity v by 2 now this radius is equal to r and uh, this rate this is r this one this is 3r and this one is 5r so let us suppose that <coughs> it is rotating with velocity angular velocity omega and we have uh, the value of v by 2 which is equal to r omega now the velocity of this point will be upward because pulley is rotating anti-clockwise and it would be let's suppose v1 so v1 will be 3 r omega so v1 will be 3 v by 2 okay so therefore this point will also move with v1 now uh, this pulley let's suppose this pulley now this point will move with v2 and v2 will be 5 r omega so v2 will be 5 v by 2 okay now this pulley will be moving downward with v3 let's suppose so v3 will be equal to v by 2 minus v1 upon 2 as v3 will move by an average velocity of both its sides so uh, v3 will be equal to v by 2 v by 4 in fact minus v1 v1 is a 3 v by 2 so it would be 3 v by 4 so this will be v by 2 with a negative sign okay so v3 will be uh, minus v by 2 it means uh, that this pulley will move upward with this velocity v3 now if v3 is upside then uh, it would be uh, magnitude mod of v3 okay so uh, we can see that this point also moves with velocity v3 upside 
and v3 is equal to v by 2 and uh, this point moves down what with velocity 5 v by 2 which is v2 and hence we can say for this pulley that 2 is equal to 5 v by 2 minus v by 2 upon 2 so uh, that is uh, <coughs> this is 4 and to 8 8 is equal to 4 v and v is equal to uh, 2 meters per second so the value of v would also be equal to 2 meters per second i hope you got the answer now we move on the next question